Yo, what's up guys? It's Steven the Beast here, back with another Roblox Skyblock video. So Skyblock just dropped a huge update. Make sure y'all watch to the end because I'm gonna show you guys everything in this update, including the pearls, the propellers. So make sure you guys watch to the end. So if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and also turn the notification bell to never miss out a new video. And let's get started with the video. So they added 10 new fishes, water crops, sprinklers, fertilizer, Pro rank game pass conveyor belts makes crop oily clean clean oil crops with the new washing station industrial washing station water catcher water storage barrel composter fish bait new lighting settings bug fixes and performance improvements this patch also induces, introduces a refactored block storage system this new system will make it easier for players with larger islands to join public service while we'll be monitoring the performance of the update and enable this feature sometime tomorrow. No, you can still sell oily crops for a reduced rate. So you can still sell oily crops. Alright, let's get into the video boys. So they have a tons of things added to the game and we're gonna be showing everything in this update. So make sure y'all watch to the end. So as you guys can see, I have pretty much everything in this update. I have the fishing rod, I have the water catcher. I have the composter, I have the water jug, I have the watering can, and I also have the water barrel, or three pearls and one propeller. And so the first thing you have to make for the in this update is that you have to first create all these um beginning items. The first three things here are um, water catcher and the um and the watering can. So you need 10 iron for, for the water catcher and how much you need? You need 10 wood for the watering can. These are pretty easy to make so make sure you make these two first. But of course you need um, you need a tier 3 workbench. Do you need one? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So you need a tier 3 workbench to make one water catcher and one watering can. Let me show you guys what they do. So pretty much, let's say if you put down like a water catcher here. Let's put down wire right here. You can see actually there's like... If you go here, press F, you can see like the water re like re refills over time. Let me read the description. It slowly refills over time, fill and empty the tools in your hand using the action button. So if I pull my watering can here, you can see I'm holding it. If I do fill, and boom. So the water goes from the water catcher to the watering can. So it's like a way to transport your water. And what a watering can does is that it, w it basically waters your, um, your crops. And by watering your crops, it makes your crops grow a lot faster. I think it makes it growing like a couple seconds or something, or like a, like a faster the speed of your crops. Like it makes it grow a bunch of faster. But look, it costs a lot of water to water these crops, so you need a tons of water. You can do empty, you can transport all the water back here, or you can fill them all here. And the second thing I want to show you guys here, so we also have the, um, let me go to the workbench here. You can see we actually have the, um, what's it called? We have the new industrial washing station, we have the washing station, we have the water barrel, we have the, with the water jug, the bait, and the uh, and the composter. So we got a bunch of things. I actually got like one of these propeller from trading and um, three pearls from trading as well. I'm going to show you guys in this video, so make sure y'all watch to the end. Oh, my game is lagging really hard. So let me take, quit, let me take this back real quick. So pretty much how you make the fishing rod is that you go to the tier 3 workbench right here. You press open, go all the way down here. You can see the fishing rod here costs 10 wood. Go here and buy one yourself. So after you got the fishing rod here, the wooden fishing rod costs 10 wood. Go to the um go to the main hub here. My game's lagging a little bit, so go to the um go through the teleporter here. Let's go here real quick. Okay, so now you go to the um go to the lake right here. You guys see this lake right here? So go here with your fishing rod right here. Yes, and tail right here. Go here with the fishing rod, and if you throw your fishing rod down here, and boom. If you go near the um, the fish, the fish should start to eat the hook. You guys can see right here. And you press left click, and now you, we just said the fish. We, we get a carp. Pretty much throw the rod here, like throw the line, fishing line down here uh, near the fish, and um, the fish is going to eat the hook. So right here. You guys see? And boom, we just got the clownfish. And here's the fisherman. You can actually sell these fish to the um to the fisherman. So you guys can see there's all different kind of fish. We got salmon, carp, catfish, red snapper, bluton, clownfish, talapia, L, swordfish. We got all these fish cost different coin. I can sell this one for well, how much? 100 coins, not bad. And sell this for 60 coins for the clownfish. There we go. Talapia. 
121, 125. So the best one here is the swordfish, which costs 500 coins. That's a lot of money, dude. 500 coins for a swordfish, but it's pretty hard to get. We can also sell the rat sniper for 35 coins. And that's pretty much how the fishing works. And also, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be explaining how the bait and everything works as well. So make sure y'all watch to the end. Let's go back to the island here. I need to collect three carrots real quick. So now there we go. You need three carrots to make a bait. So let's go here the, real quick. Go to the workstation. You can see the bait is right here. You need three carrots to make the bait right here. Craft it. There we go. And now we have we have the bait. We have the fish bait. Let's go back here and put this down. Put the bait right here. You can see this right here. We have the fishing bait right here. That's how you make it. So we go here. I also have the um. We also have the um. What's it called? Water water barrel. So pretty much what the water barrel does is that um. It can transport the water as well. Where did they go? There we go. So let's put it down here. You can, you can see right here. So if you go press F open, you can see you can actually hold like one of these tools and you can transfer water. So if I want to take out all the water from the um for the water barrel, I can just do empty and boom. All the water just goes into the water barrel. If I'm gonna fill my watering can, click on fill, and I got a full can of water I can water the um the crop with. And also this this regenerates over time too, I think. I'm not quite sure, but I think so. Maybe, maybe not. I only hold a large amount of water, okay? And here we go. So as you guys can see, that's how, that's pretty much how the watering system works. And let's go back to the um the workbench here. Um, so the water jug is also like a way to transport your um your water as well. So if you go here to the water catcher, go here and click on fill, you can see the water just went in the water jug. It's like a way to hold your water as well, right here. So here's the green bar that shows how much water um is in your storage. Let's go here and see. You guys are probably waiting for the, um, the industrial washing station and the washing station. So if you guys don't know how it works, so right now they change the crops to oily crops. So if you if all these crops coming out from the totems actually become oily, you guys can see right here, all of these are oily onions. So you have to wash the crops in order to get all these um in order to get all these onions sold in a correct price because all these oily crops doesn't worth any at all anything at all. I mean, it does worth something, but it's really bad. You can see I have 166 oily onions. So if I go to the main hub, and you go here and turn right behind the um, the block person right here, you go here, you can see this guy called oily crops. Talk to this person right here, you can see all these price. You can only sell the oily onion for 12 coins, oily tomato for three coins, oily potato for four coins, and the oily carrot for 10 coins. But that's really bad, actually. That's really not good. So if I sell all of them, I can only make 2,000 coins, which is actually very bad. Because usually, like the origin of the onion, where's how much? How much the worst? 30 coins. So pretty much like 65% or more are reduced because it's oily. Well, how do you clean the um, the crops? You clean the crops by making the industrial washing station or the industrial washer right here. Yeah, see, we have the washing station right here. So we're gonna quickly make this right here. I have three pearls. I actually got this from trading. So we're gonna make the um, we're gonna make the washing station. There we go. We just made it right here, and boom, we just got the washing station. Let's let's check this thing out. I haven't even checked this thing out yet. So clean all the crops. Let's place it down right here. Okay. Let's open it. Oh. So you need crops to clean them. Okay, so let's see how this works. If I go to the um, if I go to the farm here and see how is it gonna work. If I collect some of these oily onions, there we go. Okay. So I just got some oily onions. Let's go here and check this washing station now. So right here, we got 58. How much can you water at the same time? You can only you can only water um, you can only clean 10 mo 10 of them at the same time. Oh, okay. So pretty much, you have the oily onions, oily carrot, oily potato, oily tomato. You go to the what? You go to this. Um, you make this washing station. Go here, and you click on all. Click on the crafted. So it makes the um, it makes the oily onion clean. That's pretty much what it does. Oh, so I see how this works now. So this is pretty much like a manual way of doing it. So you have to click here over and over. That's what the um, the propellers for industrial um, washer. I see how it works now. So this is pretty much how you make clean onions. You go here, and now we just got 168 clean onions from washing station. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And now we're introducing the um, a propeller, which is the industrial st um, which is called industrial washing station right here. Cleans all the crops. You need one propeller, one blue, three three blue sticky gear, and ten steel rod for this. Dude, that's really pricey. I'm not gonna lie, because people don't even have these stuff right now. So let's go here and buy the um the industrial washing station, dude. That's crazy. So let's buy this thing right here. Oh my goodness. We, so we just got the industrial washing station, the newest machinery in the game. 
right here boys oh my goodness you guys see this let's go let's check this thing out so let's actually check it out like right here um like right here maybe okay Ooh. so let's open this click to deposit item into the industrial washington in which oh i see how this works now so you need some conveyor belt let's let's put down like some more conveyor belt on the side right here so um one two okay and put down like a chest right here maybe put down like a chest um where's the chest let's see um let me find the industrial chest where did the chest go i'm always i'm always having trouble finding item because i have so much stuff in my backpack and let's go here and see uh, what this what's up go here put this right here and now uh, let's put some more conveyor belt real quick so right here put down some totems what do you need for the um, for the thing to work you need coal okay pretty easy right here and let's place down some coal totems do we have any coal totems yeah we do all right perfect so let's place down like one Two, three. Oh, but you need to put the um the crops in there as well, huh? So it seems like I have to place down another chest in order to make this work. Okay, so let me remove that real fast. Okay, and place down like one more chest right here. So let's do like um let's do like a chest right here. There we go. Place back and remove the coat totems. I need to make them allow like front so it doesn't work properly. Let's go here and put the um what's it called? Put the um the co totems all right here let's put it like right here maybe yeah there we go okay let's pl place down some co right here so it starts working oh you guys can see it's, it's actually look at this it's pretty cool it's like sparkles in the um in this industrial washing station so there's like no smoke in that dude that's actually pretty cool so we go here and click on open chest collect all these onions there we go so we collected all these onions so this is pretty much where you get the all uh, the clean onions so go here and press open change, change the direction to out and put all these oily onions in here put all these oily oily onions in here so this is how it works yeah see this so it goes in here and cleans the onions for you that's how you make the oil onions the, the dirty onions into the clean onions you guys see this pretty cool all these clean onions are going into the chest right here Dude, this is actually pretty sick. I like this. Yo, look at this. Look at the sparkles in here, though. I love, I love the way it looks. So it cleans the um the oily onions and makes it clean. You guys can see this right here. And there we go. And makes it clean and goes to this chest right here. And you can just collect the onions over here. Very easy. I mean, I think this is pretty cool, but people were people don't like this because dude, this is making farming so hard for the game. I see this it's gonna clean all of these stuff for you. You can actually place down more cotons cotons if you want, but you don't really have to. And that's pretty much how the industrial washing station works. It's pretty cool, I like it. Let's actually go here and check out the um I also have another thing called composter, I think. Yeah. Let's check out the composter. You need 30 birch wood and 10 stone. I already made one, I think, right? Mm. Let's check it out. Where's my composter? Composter, where are you, my friend? Where are you, my friend? Where's my composter? Oh, it's right here. I'm so blind. It's right here. Okay, so converts first fish into fertilizer. Okay, so it converts your fish into fertilizer. I see. Do you need something? Oh, you don't. You just you just put the fish on here, and it's gonna convert them into fertilizer. I see. So we just we just have some basic fertilizer here. Pretty cool. And let's see what we got here. Basic fertilizer, dude. I like this. So you pretty much you just put the fish in here, and you can get them. You can get the basic fertilizer from the um from the composter. I like I like I like that. Yeah, and is that all? I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, I also missed out one thing. We're gonna get the new game pass called Pro Rank. 1850 Robux, guys. I'm doing this for y'all. Please hit the like button. It will help me a lot. Please hit the like button. And then buy this 2,000 Robux game pass, guys. Click on the like button for your boy Steven. I'm gonna show you guys what you can get from this. The 1850, let's buy right now. Oh my goodness. We, we bought it. We bought the Pearl Rank Game Pass. Steven the Beast purchased Pearl. There we go, dude. Oh my goodness. Now we have the Pearl Game Pass. So let's see what it does. It gives you lucky fishing, Pearl prefixes, and portal, extra coins, and more, more perks soon. Dude, so it gives you a lot of stuff. Hopefully that's worth it. 2,000 Robux. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of money, dude. Holy moly. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm pretty sure that's everything in this update, right? I'm pretty sure. Let's let me let me make sure. We got the um we got the watering cane, we got the water catcher, we got the um we got the bait, we got the composter, we got the we got the water jug, we got the water barrel, 
we got the um the industrial washing station the washing station so we got everything this update if you guys enjoyed this video make sure y'all smash the like button also be sure to subscribe make sure you turn the notification bell to never miss out on a new video thank you guys so much for watching it's your boy steven the beast and i'll see you guys in the next video peace